Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I have a different type of project to share with everybody today. My father-in-law has asked for me to reflock the interior of a gun case. So I've got suedex, undercoat adhesive, the blue flocking, and a mini flocking tool. Let me show you what this means. This gun case has had blue flocking inside of it. It's called a presentation case and a gun would go here and then of course all of the items that are inside and then this would close to keep everything nice, neat and protected or you can set it up to display so you can see all the things inside. Well as you can see after years of sitting the flocking has come loose so my task today is to clean off all of this flocking and then add new flocking to the interior of this gun case. So come along and watch as I take care of this gun case. The first thing that I've got to do is I've got to clean out what is already on this gun case. So I am removing the foam from it and then I'm going to brush away all this excess on here so that it is out of the way and the new will adhere. I've got a stipple brush because that's what I am in a crafting world and I am just going over all of the areas where this is stuck to help break it up and loosen it and hopefully not damage the gun case in the process. So I'm going to work on cleaning up all of the bits and pieces and then I'll come back to you. All right, I've got most of the big pieces loose from the star phone, so now I'm going to clean up this mess here and then try to dust off all the loose blocking that is on these pieces, and I'll be back. I've cleaned off both pieces of star foam in foam. When reading the instructions, it said that you need to coat this with a latex paint. So I'm going to do that. I picked up some blue latex paint and I'm going to coat these with this paint and then I'll let it dry. Since this piece had a hole in it, what I'm doing is I've got some white cardstock and some packing tape and I'm going to tape this to the back side. I coated the pieces last night with the acrylic or latex paint, latex paint, so that when I do the adhesive, it won't soak into the pieces. Those have dried overnight. The next thing to do is to get prepared, and that is to fill the mini flocker tube halfway full of the flocking. The flocking you can purchase that is the same color as the glue. That way, if there is any problems that didn't get covered with the flocking, it will be blue. That's about halfway full, so you're supposed to put the top on slowly so that it doesn't poof out on you. I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to coat each piece separately and then they will set aside to dry. So I've got my adhesive here and I'm going to open this up and get started. Alright, I think I have a pretty good coat of glue on here. So you use the mini flocker, you turn it upside down, and you open the chamber just a little bit, and then when you push it together, it poofs out flocking onto your project. You want to use way more than you think so that it will really coat nicely. And then I'm going to let this set 
overnight before I shake off any excess. So I'm going to set this aside and clean up my space so I can put adhere the adhesive on the other portion of this gun case. I have just under half still inside the container so I'm not going to bother with filling it again. I'm just going to use it the way that it is. this one coated and so now I'm going to use the same technique of opening and closing this and pushing out the fibers onto the foam. Alright so I'm going to let this set overnight and then I'll come back and we will dust off the excess and I'll show you what it looks like. Well these have been sitting overnight to dry so now here comes the big reveal. I'm going to tap off all the excess flocking and see how this turns out. It's fuzzy and even just tapping off the excess I don't see any fibers on my hands so I think it looks pretty good considering how bad it looked before let's see what the that was the foam piece so here's the styrofoam piece there we go I wasn't getting all the stuff out I think it looks pretty good for what I have done of replacing what was felt on here. And I think that my father-in-law will be happy with this. I hope you like seeing how to reflock something. So in this case it was a gun case, but if you had a small box that you wanted to put flocking inside of, or you had a journal cover that you wanted to flock, this would be a great way to do it because it feels so cool. It's fuzzy and I like the color of it so I think it turned out pretty nice. I'll take some still photos of it in the case and share with those you. What share with those God I can't talk this afternoon or morning. It's morning time now. <laughs> can't talk. I will share with you the photos of what this looks like. What would you flock? Tell me what you would flock if you had the opportunity. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Of course, as always, if you have questions, please feel free to do so. I'll have links in the description box for the products that I use in case you're wanting to do something similar to this. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.